CLP and Bad Life International and Mr. Kenya, they have made me the way I am. It's hard to imagine where I would be. Was it not for the first awards from CLP? Before 2004, I was just a student. The bridge offered me a lot of experience working in the forest with the species, with the community, and I had a lot of chance to join any training and workshop that offered by the CLP. To me, the big difference of the conservation leadership program from other traditional funding sources is the sense of partnership. Because CLP does not just provide funding to solve a particular conservation issue, but they partner with you to develop long-term conservation strategies and then help provide the tools to achieve the goals. There are many problems uh, in Cambodia regarding any conservation project because Cambodia used to be under civil war for many decades. The conservation team started in 2004, formed by three students from the Royal University of Phnom Penh. And then after they finished, they graduated from the university, they, uh, they started to join the project and they lead the project by themselves. The conservation team started with five young and energetic biologists who decided they had to do something to stop the extinctions that were happening in our own backyard. We all had strong academic backgrounds, but we wanted to go beyond the traditional university research and do something more effective to protect the Araripi mannequin. We received our first funding from the Conservation Leadership Program in 2004 as a Future Conservationist Award. Since then, we have been receiving all kinds of support in terms of exchange programs, travel grants, expert advice and training, and even support in fundraising and communications. First major funding came from CLP in 2000. We wanted to find out the perception of people toward the forest. And then we wanted to find the causes of the destruction. Some of them, we had known them, but some of them we were imagining. But indeed we wanted to do actual work, to go on the ground, talk to the people, find out why are we having all these changes within this area. The other thing we wanted to find out, what would community benefit from this forest? What are the uses of the forest? In 2004, we discovered a new record for Cambodia in the CCPS, we call the Impressed Totals. And in 2007, we rediscovered a, a, a species called Asian Giant Social Total. So it's very successful result. After the research take from the CLP granted, we developed an education program for the local community and for the local student. And we also established a community ranger to protect their total population breeding in the area. When we first started our field work in the Araripi, the mannequin was virtually unknown to the local people. After six years of information and awareness campaigns, the bird is now widely recognized. It is the name of a local music festival, a local newspaper, and even a stamp has been issued by the Brazilian post office with one of our photographs. For the local communities, perhaps the greatest benefit of conserving the Araripi mannequin's habitat will be the protection of more than 200 water springs that supply water to almost one million people in the whole Araripi region. 
That's why we have been partnering with the state's water company to explain people about the importance of the vegetation cover to increase rainwater infiltration. And ultimately, we also know that this water issue will play a major role to prevent the Araripi manakin from going extinct. Working with the CLP, we have been able to acquire a lot of readership skills and ability. I have seen members here, including myself, being confident that you can talk to the president, you can talk to anybody. I've been able to know how to work with the different people. Be patient. You need also to understand that people are not always thinking like you. All that skills and ability, inner ability, I've been able to get them through these trainings. I'm very proud to be part of the network and to be part of the CLP project. And also I'm very, very pleased to be the leader for the Cambodian team because I had uh, many chance and many experience from the project as the leader. And I had experience from the abroad. I went to the Madagascar for the internship. It's very amazing for me to leave Cambodian for the first time. It's completely very different to Cambodia. CLP support has been directly responsible for the development of our team and has been reflecting in the quality of our work and the effectiveness of the whole conservation process. To me personally, CLP support has given me the opportunity to develop a career in conservation biology. I'm very proud and I'm happy of their achievement. I'm happy that I was linked to CLP and I'm happy that I got to know the CLP Award. It has been a, a transformation in my life. 